Hello everybody, welcome back to Fanblade. This is Albert the Safety Rabbit. When you see him on screen, it means that I've done something stupid. The stupid thing I did today was erase the first four minutes of this video. Unfortunately, this means that I can't bring you the elaborate song and dance number we made with a huge budget and world-class special effects. Sadly, there was a problem with my detail sander, and in the scramble to find a new one, I lost the files. Anyway, we pick up the action in the garage where I'm about to apply a coat of oil to some freshly sanded necks. Well, it ain't the size of the dog in the fight, it's the size of the fight in the dog, and we got there. Uh, it's come up rather well. Uh, these two have a couple of coats of oil each, but I'm going to stick some oil on these because I'm really, really keen to see how they come up. I think they're going to be absolutely beautiful, which, is, of course, is what we are, what we are aiming for. Um, got a question about the oil that I'm using. Penetrol, wood oil, uh, not sponsored. This entire can costs the same as a tiny little bottle of true oil. So, yeah, uh, it works just as well. In fact, it's pretty much exactly the same stuff. I am at some point planning to do a comparison. I will do a comparison between true oil, homemade true oil, that stuff, boiled linseed oil, super glue. But if you're going to do proper science, you need to think about it first. And if anybody who watches this channel will know that I am not necessarily about thinking, I am about doing. Right, let's do this. Right, I'm going to take a quick break and let the uh, let the oil uh, sort of sit. And then I'm going to put these out of the way because I've got bodies to carve. It never ends. It never ends. And why would you want it to? Now, I'm going to start with the short scale guitar. Uh, the plan here is to route a binding channel and then uh, mark out how deep I want to go and then uh, carve off the edges. Uh, Yes, applying binding to this shape is kind of interesting. I've done a couple already and they turned out okay, but getting binding to wrap around something that tight can be problematic, uh, which is kind of why I want to do this one first, because this is an extra step that the other guitars aren't going to have, uh, and I need to get cracking on it because this one will take the longest. So, uh, yes, I'm going to carve the binding channel with this. Is a router and a hopelessly oversized uh, rabbiting bit. If you consider that the amount of wood I'm taking off is about two and a half millimeters, there's no reason for this rabbiting bit to be a full inch across, because all that's happening there is that the actual cutting blade will be going so much faster than it needs to be uh, uh, on, a, on a bigger diameter. Uh, and that, of course, just makes more heat and makes more problems and you can do more damage. So I'm going to have the router set to the slowest speed I can to try and compensate for that. And, uh, yes, and of course paying attention to uh, the direction of the cutter, because in this position here, the cutter is going clockwise. And 
if I'm cutting clockwise around here, I'm fine. But if I'm cutting clockwise around here, I'm pushing against the grain, and there's a chance that it could just rip big chunks out. Um, it's a lot more of a problem on an acoustic guitar because you can rip a whole big hole in the guitar. It's not so much of a problem here, but you've still got to pay attention. I'll be honest, routers scare the hell out of me. It's a tiny little thing of spinny finger mutilation. You've got to be very careful with them. step is to take an actual piece of the binding, like that, uh, and just mark with a pencil uh, how far how far up it goes. So that's when you know where your line is to carve, carve down to. So I'll do that all the way around, then I'll mark out a space on the top, of course making room for things like a bridge. Because I've done this before on a base where the bridge had to sit quite far back and I actually carved out underneath where the bridge was going to sit. I don't want to make that mistake again. Because uh, that would be not in the spirit of getting it right. Okay, we are ready for binding. Uh, it's sort of rough sanded, the carving was looking pretty good. I went a little bit uh, deep in a couple of spots there, uh, but I was of course giving myself plenty of clearance before I hit the line, and there is plenty of room there.
Yes, so I'm going to apply binding. Not in tiny sections like that, I'm going to use a big strip as much as I can. Uh, things may get interesting around, around here, because the plastic has a tendency to break if it goes around a corner that's too tight. Uh, heat gun can fix that, and I've got a heat gun right somewhere. Um, there's just a little bit of heat just to help it get around that corner. A whole lot of super glue to stick it on. I'm going to use the fast set stuff, because that seemed to work quite well the other day, except for the wrong job. Uh, and masking tape to hold it all in place while we work the super glue in. Now, with the masking tape, it is very handy to have it pre-cut and ready to just grab a piece as you need it. Uh, so that's the next step. Chop this up. Right then, that's the dry fit. Not looking too bad, there's uh, a few tiny little gaps. The binding doesn't like taking the inside corners too well. There's another little go in there. But uh, glue and more masking tape, which of course is the next step. Um, uh, some people are going to say you should use acetone to uh, glue this into the wood. Uh, I've tried it, I don't like it, and I don't have much acetone. Super glue it is. Let's glove up and glue on. Right. Ah, well I'm glad I got that out of the way today. Um, we are still on schedule. We are still on track. This is good. It's been a good day. Um, what I can tell you about uh, the results of this already is that when we take all this masking tape off it's going to be an absolute mess. There's going to be masking tape stuck to the wood. There's going to be glue stuck to masking tape. It's just going to be a nightmare.
but there's plenty of excess on top to sand it all clean and the edges are going to have a little bit of super glue soaked into them but I'm pretty much uh, planning on finishing the entire thing with super glue anyway. Uh, it's, a, it's, it's a fast finish, it's hard and I need to do something quickly. Um, I'd love to oil this top actually. I might think about that. I might do a super glue finish on the bottom and then oil the top. Like I say, I will think about it. Um, but that is it for today. Thank you very much for watching. And uh, uh, hit the subscribe button and I'll see you tomorrow. Cheers.